yeah i'm back again to continue the tutorial so maybe i should um, start renaming um the material so this one is the black black underscore mats mat for material this is um so <clears throat> i think i'm done with the naming so now I kind of need to um, group everything together so I will highlight everything and press ctrl G to group them together so um, the moment I click one and press the up arrow key on the um, button so it's gonna select all the group the polygon cube so let's make a cube and make it big so like so so let's go to front and select this so um like so let's make it like so and select this so select that and go to now we can change this uh, pivot to the center go to modify and take it to the center pivot and press ctrl d to duplicate so take it to this side come to rotate and press 180 to rotate in 180 degree I think it's cool like so yeah so um this thing is not on the, at the center so let me click everything and kind of bring it is it at the center let's check it over here yeah it's kind of at the center it is let's move it a bit more let's go now <clears throat> i can duplicate this again duplicate the two so i'm going to group them together the two together and go to modify center pivot now i can rotate it in 90 degree so i have it like so yeah now let me duplicate this one again let me adjust the placement a bit so it's cool like that duplicate one more and rotate it along what axis along about z axis so click again here about z axis 90 90 90 yeah so like so so i have it around all over the faces so that is exactly what i'm looking for here i think we go to go right now so let's um smooth this one out so let me go to shift right click and add insert hedge loop to let's go away insert hedge loop to so i have my insert hedge loop to let's go to two settings so that we can see yes we are using multiple edge loop i think that's what i need and i need to so just go here click once and press um hard to adjust press hard here to like so this thing i don't like it let's go to this place again and um i think we need to select a soft selection no comma selection should it be um steps not let's take off so instead of it snapping now it should be snapping again you can see the adjustment is now smooth so click the last command over here and select again press hard and adjust it all to like so and what is the next thing here at this side also give it here and press hard to adjust to like so so press 3 for the smooth select smooth preview I think we're good to go now so the next thing to do now is to to group everything together let's group everything together for maybe we can adjust something here yeah let's see what we can adjust over here click on this one and go to this is not what we need I don't think so I think this is um we need this so we have group one we have the group one 
at the group to this group one here group two um group two group five so group five are two yeah don't bother or should i bother actually don't let us bother so um the scattering i'm gonna explain the scattering later let me explain um how i was rotating it just i like everything and press ctrl g so you grouped everything together this is it you can call it the master group master group underscore group so like so so let's go to w to see where the uh, point the pivot point is so we can go to modify and take it to the center so we have it at the center so we were rotating or animating it um about that center so that is the main reason why i adjust the center pivot to the center and this pivot to the center rather so um yes so let me just do with the rotation and i'm gonna do with this capturing later so um let's assume we have um we can make it here but make sure that whatever you do you end it to where it starts so let's say this is the original um the origin the original position or the initial position to be precise so um i'm at the frame one so let me select come to this side and we can come to the animation settings and see something there so we have um 24 frames per second so we can come to the time slider and play every frame change it to real time 24 so and save so now this is at um, the essence of this one is for the auto key so whenever you change the moment you set a, a key on something whenever you change it back it's gonna just continue um adding um keys automatically so um i'm gonna go to the first frame and press s you know this is the group so um i'll alt click and i light everything again and you see it you can see you don't see any key here that i've said before that's because the first one i said was group and now this is individual um selection so i'm going to press s also so um i set the key to that place also so let me go to 100 i'm going to be using 100 frame so i'm going to press s also again so where it starts is where it will stop or end so let me press one and press up key up arrow key so here also i'm going to press s so now whenever um, i'm going to go to the center so this means that where the key as you can see the um q1 the frame one and frame 100 they're the same thing that means um the uh, uh, the animation is going to stop where it starts so you won't notice any flip of the rotation so let me come to the 50 frame and probably go to um rotation rotate um y and press 180 so it will rotate about 180 let me go to z and press 180 probably go to press again go to this place and press 180 so all the rotations now they're now 180 so let me start it now press that so as you can see this is ugly this isn't what i'm looking for so uh, uh, before i continue let me come to this side and press 100 because i'm gonna be using 100 the animation no sorry i meant this place 100 so the animation is gonna stop at 100 here the, this looks like something is floating that's not really what i want so i'm gonna stop it right now and press go back to this place and go to 50 over here 50 back and probably this place let me make it 360 yeah 360 360 and now let's check it out again yeah that's cool
so um that is how to make animation um a rotation animation so it's can it's, it's almost the same thing I'm, I'm just not following the, the same step that i follow the other time but this is what i did so um let's me delete the other every other things um like let me shift and select everything right click and go to delete don't press delete on your keyboard it's gonna damage everything so um shift and highlight everything right click on the time slider and press delete so now let me delete every other thing and leave um one stuff on delete i need to um i want to explain a uh, discussion so this scattering you need to understand something that as it is like this this is the end result that i'm looking for so i need to go to the final um the last frame that i need so that i want to like have this result so i'm gonna go to let's say i want to use 100 so i'll go to 100 frame and i'm gonna key everything you know note now i'm not using um the group rather i'm using uh, the highlight so i'm selecting every single because i'm gonna be i'm admitting admitting every single um, pieces of this model so that's why i highlight instead of using group because if you use group it's gonna it's not gonna work for every other thing so um i highlight everything and uh, go to this place and select s i click s on my keyboard so it's keyframed um it's keyframed everything here so i'm not gonna go to frame one where the animation will start so let me key it also so now i'm gonna be selecting every um piece so um you want to start the animation from the back so select this take this take it to the back so So um I think I'm done with it. So um now let's press play and see what is gonna happen. So they're gonna come close and set so like so but um we need to see it clearly. We need to see it after um, it's done. So let's go to the final result and I like everything and um, shift select the key here and drag it closer so it's rest a bit before it starts again so um, go back to the first page and the first frame and press it like so 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 that is how to go about it um, modeling um, 3d logo and animating it so um, like if, let's say you want to um, render this one out so like I said you know we were using um, handout renderer so if you want to render this let's go to rendering rendering so now we can see Arnold here that's because we need to go and activate it back go to settings preference and go to plugin manager and let's go down i think it's standing alone so you can see mtoa so loaded and press auto load so next time you open it will load itself automatically now let's go to render initially this is where we render we render badge rendering but if you use let me press badge render and see what will happen so it says okay go away the file being saved was yes continue see see what we have here we can't the mean is just that we can't um, render using anode we can't use batch rendering so what we need to do now is go to um render again and you can see rendering sequence render sequence or oh, let's go to settings render settings and see something over here okay we're still using this maya um 
I'm not, I want to use another render and this because of what I want to use the for I think I would select PNG so that I will be able to um, add or use any background that I want to use when I get to probably um, After Effects or Premiere Pro or, or any video editing software so that is the essence of this so we can go to name um, the padding and I mean the, the numbering and the extension so this means you're gonna have the name let's say I'm using logo as the name so I will have logo and because I will be rendering with um, sequence sequence so I'm gonna have 0001 0002 and uh, this padding means um, the digits that I'm gonna be having so if it's, I'm using 3 digits it's gonna be 000 or 001 and if it's for it's gonna be 0001 so that's the meaning so here is the start frame I want to start from uh, frame 1 and I want to stop at frame 86 let me choose 86 so I have 86 over there so this is the, um, the rendering camera so let's use the perspective just to get the scope uh, presets you can use whatsoever you want to use about the standard um, movie stuff that we have it's HD 1080 so the width and the height there is it and the size should be in pixel of course so um just close and go to render again and here you're gonna see render sequence so click on the options now uh, this is what i said yesterday um this render sequence um the voice the rather so i have my frame here 1 to 86 and that is exactly what i'm saying so it's because i chose the frame of 1 to 26 so the first frame is 1 the last frame is 86 and it's gonna render every single frame within one um and 26 uh, 86 rather so that's it so next thing i'm gonna press is render sequence and close but note if you press render sequence i don't want to press it but if you press it this is different from a batch rendering you know in batch rendering when you press batch render and uh, the animation or your project start rendering you can still continue doing other things but this would not applicable for this one the moment you press render sequence or render sequence and close you won't be able to do any other thing until um your project finishes um the rendering process so that is how to go about this so what you use when you're using another renderer is render sequence which is over here render and and that's because as you can see this is new because it's green over here it's a new feature so that is how to go about it thank you so much for watching i really appreciate my new subscribers thank you so much you guys are dope when i say you are dope i mean i'm i'm four i four in nigeria when you say four it means like you are breaking like um a glass is breaking and before a glass can break it means the glass is hit head on something much harder or tougher than it that's why it's great so guys you guys are dope thank you so much for subscribing and i say actually i'm keeping something special for you guys because i've been here for a very long time so i'm gonna come back with that thing so thank you so much guys i think my english is improving thank you so much for listening and for watching guys so i say we shall be making a piece and not in pieces again so peace out